Welcome back to another mechanism tutorial. So it turns out in the last video I forgot to mention a few things so I decided to make a part two to the last tutorial. That being said, let's go ahead and cover the scuba gear and the fluidic plenisher. If you recall from the last video, we had some problems with our pool, the biggest of which is that there is, well, no water. A machine called the fluidic plenisher can help solve this issue. Instead of pumping up a fluid like the electric pump here, we can actually dispense it instead. The recipe is very simple, it's just going to be an electric pump, which can be made like so, surrounded by some tin ingots and a basic and two basic control circuits. The machine does look pretty similar to the pump with the same method of uh, inputting or outputting fluids here, and an energy input on the side. It can also be upgraded with some energy and speed upgrades, and of which I threw a couple speed upgrades in to show up the effect of the plenisher faster. I've also set it up with some redstone control, that way it will only respond to a very strong redstone signal. And this effect can be achieved on any other mechanism machine. So whenever I go ahead and flip this lever here, it's going to go ahead and start filling it up just like that until up into this point, it'll get filled up and we're officially open for the season. There is a slight problem with this pool. I can't swim. To solve that problem, we'll need to use some scuba, scuba gear, which will allow us to breathe underwater. Both are super cheap to make with only the gas mask requiring some steel, some glass, and a basic control circuit. The Stukuzuba tank is a little bit pricier, it's going to require some enriched alloy, some circuits, and some steel. But otherwise, it's pretty cheap. We'll need to make both of these in order to breathe underwater. Don't forget to fuel your tank as well, whenever, like so. Go ahead and pop it over here. And we'll need to put that into the gas tank or an electric separator as so, similar to the jetpack. Let's go ahead and slip on the gas mask in the scuba tank and we'll go ahead and jump into our pool, like so. So it's off right now. So right now I'm not actually, I'm still breathing unassisted. But we can use the armor searcher key which we talked about in the last video to turn the tank on and off. Which if you need a reminder, the default key for that is going to be J. So we'll go ahead and switch that on and we're going to start bringing in our water. We're going to see that I, my oxygen is immediately filled up on the bottom, but we're consuming oxygen down in the corner. We've got some cool bubble effects as well. However, you've got to be careful to disable your oxygen when you're done because it's going to continue consuming oxygen even though we're not actually in the water. So make sure you turn that off when you're done. And that's really all there is to the scuba gear and to the fluidic plenisher. Thanks for watching my latest tutorial. Be sure to check out my other videos as well. I make some fun reviews and skits on here in addition to gameplay. And be sure to leave a like in the, if you enjoyed the video. And let me know in the comments what you liked and maybe didn't like. Lastly, don't forget to hit subscribe and click the bell icon to stay updated on when I post new videos. I'll see you all in the next video and have a great day.